move on to the wonderful world of air pollution. This is what we live in. Like I said, what a wonderful time to be alive. We've created our own problems and we now breathe that problem in every single second. Do you know that there were certain cities in our country that actually had an AQI at one time that was above 1,000? Can you even imagine that? There are certain countries that actually give a warning and tell senior citizens and children and other people not to come out of their house at about 100 to 150 AQI. We were at 10 times that. This is hell if ever there was. But one of the things that has become very important is what is in the air? I mean, we talk about stubble burning, we talk about vehicular pollution, we talk about gases that are coming out, we talk about dust pollution. But what is it that we're really breathing? For the first time ever, in collaboration with Dyson, we've been able to find out what our actual air filters in our air pollution purifiers actually capture. This is a very, very exclusive report and we've actually got our hands on it. Let's take a look, you'll be quite shocked. While North India reels under horrific levels of pollution, many are looking at air purifiers as a solution for indoor air pollution. Dyson carried out a study across Delhi NCR to take a detailed look at all the muck that lurks around in our homes and also all the indoor air pollutants. They placed the Dyson Pure Cool in 12 different kinds of homes. In some homes, it was placed in the bedroom, in some in the living room or the study. After three to five months, all the filters were collected and the pollution and dirt caught in the various filters was analysed. The activated carbon filter was tested for volatile organic compounds or VOCs and formaldehyde. The HEPA filter was tested for allergens and dust and the bacteria structure profile. The key thing really on that is understanding real home environments. So whilst we're trying to design test methods um, internally to reflect that, what's really interesting for us is to go into homes and really understand the levels of different types of pollution that we see. And part of it is for our own benefit to be able to make sure that we are um, testing our products to reflect those real home environments. So let's get our hands dirty and find out what Dyson really found. Formaldehyde, which is seen in furniture coatings, plywood and glue, was seen in large quantities in most houses. The average was 169.1 mg per gram of formaldehyde tested. Amongst the houses sampled for the dirty filter study, the maximum value of the dust weight was a whopping 8.24 grams. On an average, there was 3.71 grams that was found. A major asthma trigger dust mite allergen concentration was found to be 41.48 nanograms per gram on an average in the 12 homes sampled. And as for bacteria in the HEPA filters, the commonly found bacteria were the Aspergillus mold that thrive wherever there's dampness, Streptococcus bacteria, an airborne bacteria that is spread by coughs and sneezes, and the Micrococcus bacteria which are normally present in skin microflora. Epithelial cells, pollen and mold was also found in this study. So not just outdoors, inside homes too, other than PM2.5 levels in the air, the study shows just how many other pollutants and harmful things we are breathing in. The Dyson Pure Cool claims to take care of most of these that were found in the different set of filters. The HEPA filter is the most essential filter in an air purifier. So do keep an eye out for this when buying one.